Hello friends, this video on motion in a straight line part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 14 before going ahead with part 15. Now we will see interpretation from different velocity time graphs. We will plot many velocity time graphs which will tell us or which will give us some indication regarding the motion of the particle. The first scenario we consider is uniform acceleration. This is our velocity time graph. This is velocity, this is time. Now if the velocity is increasing uniformly with time, in that case the acceleration would be constant. That means the acceleration will remain the same throughout. And in this graph also indicates that the motion of the particle takes place in the positive direction. Also it says that the acceleration is positive. Now if we want to plot the position time graph corresponding to the same, since the velocity is increasing with time that means the position time graph would be a non-uniform curve. Because if the position time curve would have been a straight line, that would have meant that the velocity is constant. But here we see that the velocity is increasing with time. That means velocity is not constant. Therefore, the position time graph would be a non-uniform increasing curve. That means the position is increasing with time, but the increase in position with time is non-uniform. Let us consider the second scenario where there is no acceleration. This is how the velocity time graph looks like. That is the velocity, the value of velocity remains the same with increasing time. Here if you see the time keeps increasing from 1, 2, 3, 4 but the value of velocity remains 3 even for the increasing time. That means if velocity remains the same, that is if it attains a constant value, then acceleration which is nothing but change in velocity with time will definitely become equal to 0. So in this case, how will your position time, how your position time graph would have looked like? Position time graph would have definitely been something like this. That is, the change in position is uniform with respect to time. In this case, the velocity will become constant. When, when velocity becomes constant, acceleration becomes zero. It is very important to remember and to know how to plot a corresponding position time graph if you are given a velocity time graph. Similarly, if you are given a position time graph, you should know how to plot a corresponding velocity time graph. Let us look at the third scenario that is uniform retardation. As we discussed before, retardation is nothing but deceleration. That is when the velocity decreases with increase in time. So the velocity time graph would look something like this. Here you can see that as the time increases, the velocity keeps decreasing. So velocity decreases with increase in time. This is known as uniform retardation or uniform deceleration. In this case also, the motion of the particle takes place in positive direction because motion is determined by the velocity. So velocity we can see it is in the positive y-axis. So motion is in the positive direction but in this case the acceleration is referred to as the negative acceleration why because the acceleration keeps decreasing so if we plot the position time graph in this case it would be something like this it would be a curve because we can see that the velocity is decreasing with time. That means the velocity is changing with time. So the change of position with time should be non-uniform. That is why it is a curve. And why is it decreasing with time? Because the velocity also is decreasing with time. So that is how you are supposed to plot the graph. If velocity is decreasing with time, that means position will also decrease with time. Now let us look at the last scenario where we have negative acceleration. In this case, again we have this is our velocity, this is our time. 
Here we see that the motion of the particle takes place in the negative coordinate. That means the motion takes place with the increase in time. As time increases from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, the velocity goes in the negative direction. So that means this says that the motion takes place in negative direction. The motion takes place in negative direction. Therefore, the acceleration will be negative. Because acceleration is nothing but, but the derivative of the change in velocity with time. Acceleration is equal to dv by dt. So if v is negative, then dv by dt will also be negative. Now if we try to plot the corresponding position time graph, let us say this is position, this is time. How would it look like? The position time graph would be something like this. It has to be in the negative coordinate because the velocity goes in the negative coordinate. So the position should also be in the negative coordinate. Here we see with increase in time, the velocity, the absolute value of velocity keeps increasing along the negative y-axis. Therefore, the value of position should also keep increasing along the negative y-axis. At the same time, since the velocity keeps increasing with time, so this curve has to represent a non-uniform change in position with time. So I hope now it is clear how do we plot different velocity time graphs, what do we interpret from the different velocity time graphs and how do we plot the corresponding position time graphs for the velocity time graphs. Let us look at the next problem. Discuss the motion of a freely falling object. This is a very general discussion which we see around us every time. Anything which falls down on its own, it randomly falls to the ground. Now, how do we discuss the motion of a freely falling object under gravity using these laws of motion? I mean, using these equations of motion. When we say a freely falling object, freely falling means we consider that air resistance is equal to zero and the object is falling freely without any resistance. Now, when the object is falling, we know that it is the gravity of the earth which is attracting the object towards its center and that gravity is g which is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. So this g is our acceleration in this case. Now this g is supposed is assumed to be constant because the distance through which the object falls the distance of fall is very very less when compared to the radius of the earth. Therefore, it is considered that the acceleration due to gravity is g and the value of g is constant. So now, this is basically a scenario of uniform acceleration. Now, the motion of the object takes place in minus y direction. Like, let us suppose this is the object which falls freely towards the surface of the earth. So the motion is minus y direction. And the acceleration also acts in minus y direction. That means acceleration is equal to minus g. Now initial velocity of the object when it starts falling from somewhere, the initial velocity of the object is 0. That is u is equal to 0. Now taking these values, we can write the kinematic equations like this. The equation 1 that is v is equal to u plus a t. This will become V is equal to U is 0, A is minus G, T. Equation 2, that is S is equal to U, T plus half A, T square. This will become S is equal to U is 0, so this is minus half G, T square. Similarly, equation 3, V square is equal to U square plus 2 A, S. This will become v square is equal to minus 2gy where y is the displacement or y is the distance travelled by the object or the height from where the object falls to the ground. So these are the three equations of motion for a freely falling object. Now if we want to plot the graph for a freely falling object, let us try to do that. Let us suppose 
we want to plot the velocity time graph. This is velocity and this is time. Now in this case, the velocity goes in the negative direction. I mean the change in velocity. That is the acceleration. That is because the acceleration is negative here. So this is retardation. Since the acceleration is negative, therefore the graph will be somewhat like this. Similarly, if we want to plot the position time graph, say this is the time and this is my position, in that case it will be somewhat like this. That is the motion is along the negative direction because we can see the motion is happening in the negative direction and also the velocity is not uniform. It is an accelerated motion. So the velocity is also changing. So the velocity is non-uniform and the motion is in negative direction. So the position time graph would be somewhat like this. So here it is uniform retardation and here it is non-uniform velocity. So I hope it is clear to you now that how do we discuss the motion of a freely falling object in terms of the kinematic equations of motion. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.